Hello guys, how are you? I am Noor and today we will explain the dependencies folder in spmec.net 6. So let's me directly move to the project that we have created in the first lecture of this series. Um, if you are not familiar with creating the um, project in spmec.net 6, then you can just go to the Visual Studio and then click on create project and choose the SPMC tablet. I think it is not a difficult part. That is why I will directly open the project that I have just created uh, dummy data. And inside the dummy data, there was uh, there is a folder dummy projects. And here is my project uh, SPMC to do app. Right click and I have to open from this option. Uh, it is the dot, uh, s s solution file and just click on this one. Okay, the project loaded successfully. No, I will tell you here about the dependencies folder in this video. Here you can see the dependencies folder. The purpose of this folder is to keep all the packages and DLL files inside this folder. Um, you uh, can see here uh, in the framework, there is the Microsoft SP.NET Core app. Uh, and here you can see lots of DLL. If I just close this one, and from the second option, you can see also all these, the system, the uh, system.sp context. These all, uh, these all are the DLLs um, uh, created by default with the project. But if you have to add your own packages, the new get packages, or any kind of other DLL libraries, then you have to add inside the dependencies folder. Let's me just add a very simple dummy new get package so that you can see how we can add a package. Right click. Then click on Manage New Get Package. And here you have to select for a package. At this time, let's suppose I want to add the uh, XML, sorry, the close XML package, basically. Let's suppose I want to add this package inside my project. Basically, this uh, package, uh, uh, works uh, fine if you have to convert your data into the Excel file. I am just adding for the demonstration purpose. No, I will click on these and here I will click on install. Click on OK. Uh, you can see the green symbol. It means that the package is added successfully to my project. Uh, from this option, you can see that I can now install. Close all these things and here go to the dependencies folder. Click on the packages. You can see that the close XML package is installed successfully. So basically, uh, if I just click outside of the uh, dependencies folder, I mean if I just click on my project, uh, right click on your project, then click on manage new get package. No, again, if I add a package, then this package will go inside the dependencies folder. Let's me add uh, some other package, like the QR coder, right? Click on install. I don't uh, know about the purpose of QR coder package, but I'm just using it for the demonstration purpose. Okay, the package added successfully. No, uh, close this option. And here you can see in the dependencies folder in the packages, the QR code package is also added successfully. So basically the purpose of this dependencies folder is to keep the packages, the DLL files for your project. Uh, the purpose of this video was just to tell you about how we can add a new get package or uh, what is the purpose of this dependencies folder. So you will be familiar now about this. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, we'll meet in 
Uh, the next video with a new topic. Thank you.